I could, you know, get on the vlogs and kind of whip it out to make it seem like I use Atlas, but that would be fake. And I just like to keep it real on how we truck. In today's world, everything is fast paced and we humans depend heavily on technology. As modern day truckers taking time to look over an atlas before every load seems as if this form of preparation is becoming obsolete. Are newer truckers mainly using apps like Google Maps, Truckers Paths, etc. to pre-plan? Let's talk about it. Good morning, y'all. I've never been so ready to leave in my life. Uh, yeah, hello. I'm ready to get back in the truck now. Yeah, I'm done. Come on, it's cold out here. Total miles on this load is 1,031. And dead hit is 280 miles. Now I like to have the address in both GPS's, my Garmin, as well as this, but even in the Qualcomm, but even when I didn't have a, um, a Qualcomm when we were at CRST I just used the truck and GPS um, of course I like to look at the route uh, over Google Maps just to see what everything's looking at I mean looking like um, you will have like truckers I guess who've been in the game 20 plus maybe 30 plus years um, trying to tell you you know use get you an atlas we have an atlas um, it's in our storage container uh, since tractor trailer, we've never used an atlas. Um, they say it, it's good to have it in case it, you know, you're in the middle of nowhere and you have nothing else. I agree. That's why we have it. We spent like six or seven dollars at like a truck stop and got the atlas. Um, but in my two years of trucking, I've never had to use it, and um, I could, you know, get on the vlogs and kind of whip it out to make it seem like. I use Atlas, but that would be fake. And I just like to keep it real on how we truck. And when I say we, most millennials. Uh, most millennials are not whipping out Atlases and, and looking at them on the map. And I'm just, and if I'm wrong, I, I'm sorry, but the ones that I speak to, we're not really whipping out Atlases. We look on Google Maps and um, we look at our GPS and we read the signs, so probably gonna get a lot of flack for this uh, what I just said in this video but keeping it real but shout out to the ones who do use the Atlas I don't want to discourage people from doing that because the most especially when you're in track the trailer the most knowledgeable that you can be about or the most pre-planned that you can be I'm not discouraging pre plan I think everyone should pre plan you know and the most knowledgeable you can be about your route I think that's the best I'm just saying, I've never really did it as far as using an atlas. I always pre plan, which is what I'm doing now. I'm putting it in the GPS and looking over Google Maps, just kind of seeing how everything looks. And um, I even tried doing the thing where you write down your stuff turn by turn on paper. That didn't last long because in this world, we like to move fast, fast, fast. So. Comment below your thoughts. Can't wait to read the comments.
been getting a lot of requests, so we finally did it. We added new merch to our website. When you order and receive your merch, send us a selfie or video to our email to be featured on our channel in 2020. Peace. All right, y'all. So I've just driven about, I think, what was it like three hours? So, um, but before I took off, I decided to create a poll on YouTube and I asked, cause I was thinking about this. I was, I asked, um, our subscribers, you all, um, do you use an Atlas? So, uh, let's see what happens. It's been about three hours. Let's see what they've been saying. Let's see what y'all have been saying. All right, let's open up YouTube. channel community all right so i said before my load i look at an atlas parentheses not google maps or any other electronic i look at the paper atlas book i just wanted to see what they were saying and so far we had 128 votes in three hours it's gonna be a lot more just gotta give it time but um Okay, so the first one, yes for every load, 17% said that. Um, in my entire trucking career, I've never had to use an Atlas, 23% said that. And then 60%, this is the majority, they said, every now and then I pull out the old treasure map, Atlas. And then let's see what the comments say. Dwayne Floyd, he said, I must say years has passed and time has changed. I have multiple Atlas in my truck, but now they use more as truck decorations. Seriously, I think some driver's attention is short to focus on maps, but we're in the 21st century and so much has changed, so much has changed and continued to change. In my 10 year years of driving, I've seen the young drivers become more successful in this industry than mere veterans I've known. From lease operators, owner operators, independent, let me heart this, um, independent and now fleet owners. Also investing revenue in other developments. This new group of truckers are thinking beyond just trucking and I, for one, are fully supportive. That's what's up. Like you do not hear that often. What you usually hear is how we're doing a lot of the stuff the wrong way and how we need to make sure, you know, we do this and we do that. And it's like, you gotta understand times are changing. Um, so kudos to you, Dwayne. Let's see what they, uh, the other people saying. Really like that. I really like that comment from Dwayne. Um, let's see, go price go. He said, I see what GPS says and compare the route with my Atlas to check for accuracy. That's what's up. Uh, Atlas is great, just doesn't tell us road conditions. That's a good point, too. Um, that's a good point. And then, last but not least, Alejandro says, Google Maps satellite view makes the Atlas obsolete, obsolete. But it's nice to have one in the truck for emergency purposes. I agree. Like I said before, um, we have an atlas. I bought it just in case because there are some areas in the U.S. It doesn't happen often, but like we are in Wyoming um, and some parts of Idaho, which now we're really going to be in the area, but we have no phone signal. And for the most part, you're just on that same road the entire time, like Interstate 80 or 90 or whatever. But um, I do think it's good because you just never know what may happen. And if anything happens, I know I can go and get old dusty. That's what I call old. I call her old dusty because she's collecting a lot of dust in that little toolbox back there because we've never used her. We just got her. But I do think you should have an atlas. I'm just saying I ain't never had to use one. I be all on Google Maps, GPS. <laughs> <sighs> but anyways we're 60 miles away from um uh the pickup i want to let some more time pass i don't want to get there too early we used to try to make it no more than 30 minutes early no less no less 30 minutes early 
So, um, but I'm excited. Uh, this is an easy load. The load is only 150 pounds. And, um, I think the, the run is only going to be like 600 and some miles. <sighs> easy, easy load, easy money. And then we'll be checking out the truck and going on home time. And now I'll turn to you, our viewers, and read your comments to know how you all feel about using an Atlas in today's fast-paced world of trucking. Are we using them on every load, every other load, or never? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, and leave a comment below because we read all of our comments. We hope to see you all tomorrow at the same time because this is Vlogmas. Thanks everyone for your love and support. Peace.